Well, Egypt is making tentative steps towards resolving its political crisis. The Vice President Omar Suleiman has found some common ground with members of the opposition and a committee is being set up to recommend constitutional changes. Lara Setrakan sent this report. There are still tanks in Cairo streets. And protesters are still dug in in Tahrir Square. But on Sunday, some signs of normalcy returned to the Egyptian capital. A few banks reopened. They'd been closed for more than a week. There were long lines, but no panic at banks and cash machines. The government said it had distributed cash with military planes to ensure banks had enough liquidity. The bank is working. Security is good. The president did what he had to do. He's stepping down peacefully. Now we want to get back to our work. Cars are back on the streets in parts of Cairo, and elsewhere, the cleanup has begun. But no one knows if this is the beginning of the end or simply the eye of the storm. This weekend, Vice President Omar Suleiman met with opposition groups, including youths the government said represented anti-government protesters and the banned Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, we have very specific demands. If they are met, or if we feel that there are concrete steps taken towards meeting those demands, then we will continue the dialogue. In Tahrir Square, the demand is simple. They want Mubarak to go, and they want him to go now. Lara Satrakian, Bloomberg. Let's now get more from Lara, who is back in Dubai. Lara, the million-dollar question, how do you resolve these complex political issues? Well, Francine, what we're seeing is a new loose equilibrium in Egypt, some sense of normalcy, plus slow-moving negotiations. Now, what does that look like on the streets? Tahrir Square protests continue. The protest leaders tell me they're calling this the week of endurance. They're pitching more tents and digging in their heels. But you also see traffic on the streets of Cairo like we haven't seen for weeks. Some stores reopening, trying to pick up the pieces here. Now, in terms of the political negotiations, the regime seems to be back in the driver's seat. All of the tension wrapped around this one question question of when Mubarak will leave. His prime minister said yesterday that he's going to stay in power until September. The opposition worries that as long as he's nominally the head of government, they won't get a clean break and a fresh start, that the regime itself will reconstitute itself into whatever we see coming up next. Now, when you speak to investors here in Dubai and across the region, they say that this messy picture is at least somewhat better than the political freefall we had two weeks ago. They're giving Egypt a fresh look, especially on the private equity side, a sense that Egypt does have a long-term good story coming out of this and a willingness to actually consider the bright side here, that there's less succession risk, that there's less political uncertainty in some ways than there was beyond, you know, before this all began. So beyond this crisis, a potentially rosy picture, that's what we're hearing from analysts out here. Yeah, Lara, thank you so much. We're certainly hoping for a more rosy picture. Now